What is up, you guys? So I'm going to be watching what would happen if one trillion buckets of water emptied onto the sun. So here it goes. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Shit. Another video. So today's topic is if one trillion buckets of water would simultaneously be emptied onto the sun. Okay, so let's assume a bucket has 10 liters of volume. And no, I am not going to give you gallons. You can convert. With 10 trillion liters of water, we have 10 billion cubic meters or 10 cubic kilometers. According to NOAA, there are 332,519,000 cubic miles of water on Earth, and one cubic mile is 4.16818 cubic kilometers, which means that on Earth there are approximately 1,385,999,045 cubic kilometers of water. You basically empty a fraction of one over 138,599,905 of Earth's water onto the sun. And the sun is approximately 109 times as large as Earth. What we are talking about is a tiny drop of water on a gigantic surface. It would evaporate instantly and that was it. It would not even matter if you took 10 trillion or 100 trillion buckets, the result would be the exact same. And no matter how much water you use, it's impossible to put out the sun that way. The energy from the sun is not produced by a combustion that needs oxygen and could therefore be put out by removing oxygen from the reaction. The energy from the sun is produced by a nuclear fusion reaction that only needs hydrogen and gravity. No oxygen requirements for the reaction, no fire extinction with water. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed Wow, it, that sounded amazing. really cool. So if you, a trillion buckets of water emptied out of the sun would be like a drop of water. That is insane to me. What do you guys think down below in the comments? Make sure to like the video, comment on the video, like it again, comment, and comment sun is crazy down in the comments below if you guys are disappointed in the video. So thank you for watching. Peace out.